statistical analysis, and I'm pointing out that the statistical analysis of the Royal Society on that issue is 90% atheistic. They are not, never, I guarantee they will never change their particular vision issue. You have to dig deep into, into their st mission statement. The mission statement is to actually get spiritual realities. Uh, I know you, people have taken the money. I know a lot of people, but, uh, but that's, that's one. I mean, Sean, I'd, I'd be, be happy to, for you to make a statement on this too. I mean, I think the point about it is, yes, they're, they're blurring the border lines. The question is, will they do what the, the scientific community did when they saw coal fusion? The Templeton Foundation published, uh, funded the biggest study ever done on prayer and healing. Okay, well then I... All right, you, you have to stand corrected. And how could you have missed this? This was a huge news well, story. Well, I didn't see that it was a Templeton Foundation, but... They funded the whole thing well, and they published it, even me... though it refuted exactly everything you just well, said I'm, that they I'm... would say. So you're wrong. Wait. You're absolutely wrong. Just a minute. The data have refuted you. You need to apologize to the Templeton Foundation. No, you're wrong. I the data have spoken. You are not being a scientist I now. You're being an that, activist. I, I will accept that particular point. Oh, okay. And then what? Well, what I would say is look at the advertisement. The advertisement said, we got, I put the, the statistical data on one side and the non-statistical data on the other side. That is advertising by the Templeton Foundation. Okay? They the were, question that is was the, not an attempt at a scientific study of well, who believes Well, that's the problem. It, yeah, well, so they what? claim to They're be. They claim that. to be doing No, they that. don't. They claim to be doing not that. Not for that. That project was an essay contest, not a research study. Well, what, uh, what else are they saying? That we want to do scientific, uh, we want to find scientific basis for these realities. I accept fully what you said about that. I wasn't aware that it was Templeton funded. Okay. Thank you. However, at the end of the day, will they accept? Will they accept there are no spiritual realities? Will they come out and make that? That is the point that I'm trying to make. Okay, so this is a add-on comment. Uh, so I think that the uh, the main agenda of the Templeton Foundation, if you listen to people like Steve Paulson and Krista Tippett, and then even William Lane Craig from 2004. Oh my god, what an asshole William Lane Craig is. But if you put all these those people together and then strangely add in people like Michael Shermer, I mean, Michael Shermer, he really blew a gasket in a slimy way against Croto in that conference. wacky woo-woo people together that Hamilton really likes to fund, the agenda is to kind of firmly maintain the non-overlapping magisteria. And that's essentially a religious agenda, you know. So, whatever tools they can pick up with their grubby little hands to move their agenda forward is what they'll do. 
also, if it means putting out some cash to some otherwise legitimate scientists, they'll do it, you know? Just as long as the end result meets their strategic goals. So, and if you'd have to dig to find out what their strategic goals, if you don't give a shit about what their strategic goals are, then you're basically a dumb shit. So, and a chump. I'm not going to be a Templeton chump. So, that's the bottom line. And as far as purpose in the universe, well, we are part of the universe, that's true. We can make our own purpose, and so in that sense, the universe can have purpose. Because we are a part of the universe, and we can decide to have a purpose. But, uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, there's immaterial things anything like that. Basically, basically, if you can uh, use words to describe something, uh, it's material. So just you don't get to just describe some other reality by fiat and say, "Oh, that's indescribable" or "That's immaterial." And if you can describe it, it's material. So, uh, and uh, it's lazy to say that there is something. Undescribable. That's just kind of a cop out. So let's keep searching. And, uh, you know. Um, and uh, people who mainly blow smoke, they just want to stop searching.